Hi guys, what's up? I am back with a different video for you today where I talk about the fan expo I was at um, last Saturday and it was one of the best experiences ever because I got to meet Superman and Lois from my favorite adaption, which is Smallville. I'm making this video so I just don't forget what happens ever so I can just look back at this video if I want to remember it. I had to take a few days to recover because I was <laughs> it was just insane meeting them. Um, and I also want to promote um, a project that they talked about they're working on so stay tuned for this video to learn more about that. But yeah just to start off I wanted to just go through each each step I can remember of that day um, before I forget but it was just it was a whirlwind of a day. Um, I started off just working at 5 30 a.m. so I was super dead. And the Q&A that uh, Tom and Erica were doing started at four in the afternoon. Um, I think I made it there at around three. It's actually super crowded and I was not used to that at all. I have not been out <laughs> for so long, several years now in such a big area. A lot of people, at least everyone was wearing masks and they checked all the vaccinations and everything. So uh, at first I was a little bit hyperventilating, but it, I got over it as soon as I saw Eric and Tom uh, doing their autograph signing session. And it was just so surreal because I met I met a few you know celebrities, but I, this is different just because I watched Smallville when I was in third or fourth grade, and I watched it with my sister. And it's like ten seasons of show was a huge freaking commitment. Like, and we watched it three times together, at least three times. And I watched it once on my own, and then I watched it. Funnily enough. We, I finished watching it again with my boyfriend two weeks before Tom and Erica were in town. We didn't even know they were coming here. And as soon as we finished, I saw that they were gonna be in Vancouver and I was just mind blown. I was like, yo, this is meant to be. I even said that to Tom himself. Um, anyways, getting ahead of myself. I'm just gonna show you guys the, the autograph I'm talking about. Erica wrote all the best and Tom wrote great meeting you, Olivia. And I started off getting Erica's because there was not much of a line for hers. I don't think she's been in much else other than Smuggle. I did see her in Saving Hope. And honestly, I was even more nervous to meet her. I don't know why, but I literally, my heart was beating. I was just like, couldn't even think when the lady uh, who was taking, you know, a payment was asking me what I wanted her to write on it. I was just like, forgot. I literally forgot how to check my phone, couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm like, you know, just, just put my name. I can't even think right now. <laughs> I bet she saw how nervous I was. Um, but she calmed me down. She was like, oh, so how do you say your name? And uh, I told her and she's like, wow, that's beautiful. So thanks to her. She was great. She was really, really, really cool. And then like almost right away, I got to see Erica and it was just she looks the same guys not even joking I'm gonna put a little picture like my boyfriend snuck a picture um, of me meeting her and she looks the same after 10 years ago the show ended and I don't know how she did it but she looks so gorgeous that I think that's why I was just like blown away she looks exactly the same and she's right in front of me and as if I wasn't hyperventilating enough she starts off by saying oh wow your eyes are beautiful how do I respond to that I don't even know what I said really, I was just like kind of laughed it off and she said that she notices everyone's eyes more because we're all wearing masks now and I'm like, oh cool. <laughs> I managed to say that she was my best favorite portrayal of Lois Lane and she just thanked me so much. She like looked very um, honored and she said that it was just a fun character because she kind of got to do so many things with it. Uh, unlike Lana's where it was just like a specific, she had to kind of be perfect. Lois got to do a bunch of shit and I really understood that. She's an army brat and uh, she had hella costumes she <laughs> wore and she was just a fun character. That's why I liked her so much because she's so sassy and snarky and she jokes around and she's so smart and headstrong and she kind of, I guess, growing up is how I kind of wanted to be like and my boyfriend even says that sometimes how I speak to her is how <laughs> Lois speaks to Clark or Smallville and I just wow it's amazing that I got to meet her and uh, she also asked how to pronounce my name and again I heard uh, from Erica this time oh how beautiful my name is and <laughs> Just compliments for me, even though she's like this perfection in front of me. And I was just, a lot of people went in for a hug for her. I I don't do that. Like I don't, I want to ask for it, but I'm too shy to ever ask for something like that. I think she even was like kind of wondering if I was going to ask for it, but I just like 
didn't. So, missed opportunity, but good job. <laughs> and then I went into the line for Tom, which was way longer, and my boyfriend joined me for that, and that was a really fun experience. I think Tom just, like, immediately put me to ease, so I wasn't as nervous. Also, maybe I got over the nervousness with Erica. I don't really know why I wasn't as freaked out by meeting Tom, even though Tom is the main character. He was in every single episode of that show, 10 years of his life. And I understand why he kind of didn't have the best experience with that because he lost the best time of his life. He started when he was around 20 and then and the show ended when he was 30. And that's like such a huge part of somebody's life. But he says he's like learning to appreciate it more now with age and going to these conventions. And that's great. I think he was happy also to see a couple. I don't really know. I think me and my boyfriend, we... We do interest a lot of people when we go out together. We get like really interesting responses, but he was, we had about the longest conversation ever. He even had to apologize to the people after us for how long of a conversation he had with us and still blows my mind. <laughs> we, um, if I remember correctly, I think it started off, we said how big fans we were and then Sharon said that, yeah, we just finished the show um, two weeks ago. And I said, yeah, we didn't even know you guys were gonna be here. So it's kind of like fates and Tom looked really um, humbled by that and then um, he told us some <laughs> weird story about um, a woman who would watch um, Smallville while on the treadmill and she watched it like three times or something and uh, we were like laughing like well that's some commitment and um, Sean really helped me there I guess he put me to ease as well so I wasn't as nervous for Tom but he was like yeah we're both UBC students and so much of Small World was actually filmed at UBC so re-watching it with my boyfriend I hadn't watched it since starting at a university graduated two years ago how much of it is filmed here just in BC and it, it's awesome and Tom was like yeah even Luther Mansion was filmed at UBC and me and Sharon were like what <laughs> gonna go and see exactly where they filmed that and we were just really having a great time and he also two times was telling us to get married <laughs> and he was just such a humble and nice guy super down to earth and we just kept talking about like random shit and um i said that i watched it like three times with my sister and he was like wow that's great and before ending the conversation he initiated a fist bump with each of us so i actually got a fist bump superman guys this guy who i looked up to since I don't know how old I was in third grade, but that's just amazing, right? And I also loved him in Lucifer. He was, I was super excited for him to be in Lucifer. Couldn't believe that happened for the longest time after that. I needed to eat something and relax a little bit. But it was such an incredible experience meeting these two great people. But you know, Smollett does have its ups and downs, not just in the show, but also the whole thing with Allison Mack. She kind of definitely tainted the show, I'd say. But you know, when I rewatched it, what I had to do was kind of separate character from actor. And that's the only way to ha you can watch it anymore because she's such a vital part of the story. Um, they actually made a joke about that at the Q&A. Uh, I managed to film a few clips about the Q&A. And they were basically just like how I'd imagined. Their interactions were incredible. They bickering, so much bickering, just like in the show. <laughs> no, nobody told me that. They said if we're gonna introduce you to someone, if you meet her, let us know. Nobody told me that. Yeah, that was that was the way it was. That was in the show. Yeah, it was in my county, West Nile, because they told me that. They just seemed to have such fun time talking about the show, you know, and they had such different takes, you know. At, Erica's just had this energy on stage, even and it, when they were filming Smallville, she had brought this so much energy, and Tom had been there for so long, so he was just like, um, they worked differently, and they worked together well, because they were different. And I also saw that on stage, they kind of worked off each other. Tom did interrupt a couple of times, but he's just, they're both quite different personality-wise, where she's not as, you know, loud as Lois is, which I noticed, but just so kind. She's like seriously the kindest person I've met. And we got to see some really cool moments when we were there that like, for example, when we were waiting for the autographs, we saw Erica introduce her dad to Tom. I don't know if it was the first time of the meeting, but I saw that and we were just like, oh dang, that's cool. And also another thing 
that just blew me away was that you know the kid if you've seen small but the kid that gets out of the lander in like episode one and he's in another episode two I, I, he's basically baby clark like the young clark uh that gets out of the spaceship he was there and he asked a question at the q a and tom was blown away by it he was just really shocked because he's like in his 20s now this kid he's probably older than me he's like the same age as me I think he was dressed as Spider-Man as well. There were two people dressed as Spider-Man who asked Tom questions. He was so savage about it. It was freaking hilarious. But it, it was really cool to see see that moment as well, that Tom seeing this kid who played him, his character, after all these years, been like 20 years. Um, that was incredible. And the Q&A might be online anyways. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about as well is the animated series that they're talking about um, that's in the works. And I'm definitely promoting it right now because I, it's amazing. They're gonna make an animated series that's taking off right where Smallville ended and they're gonna keep everybody's voices. They joked a little bit like, oh, it's gonna be hard to get Allison back. Uh, <laughs> and the, like, um, Erica was like, wow, there is Zoom. Like they were super, savage about it but at least they talked about it you know it's important to get that word out there a lot of people didn't know about what Allison's been involved with um, but that's definitely a series I'm willing to react to just because I love the show so much I don't watch animated things but I will 100% watch that and I'm so excited my like Michael Rosenbaum is gonna be in it John Glover and Tom and probably Erica and I'm just so hyped about that. They really made me laugh. They were just really great together. It's just, it was just so, so surreal. I can't even remember every single detail because I was thought I was like dreaming, not even joking. But the, the panel ended with um, this really cute kid asking Erica to say, I'm an army brat. And I, I loved that moment. That was a really good way to end. It was just interesting to learn more about them behind the scenes because Erica was very new and she needed to know every single detail about every single scene and whereas Tom was more relaxed and had to help her like she needed his they, they kind of worked together he guided her and yeah I can just tell that they definitely had a lot of fun moments on set and it's cool to see them together um Erica hadn't actually been to a, the fan expo before uh, and she even lives here, she says, so that's interesting. And Tom was at the Fan Expo two years ago. And yeah, actually there's going to be, if you're interested in seeing them, there's going to be on Saturday, this Saturday on the 26th, like a live stream that's free, I believe. And Tom posted about it. So if you don't know about that, you can, let me just direct you guys to where it is. Yeah, you can just look up, um, there's a virtual meet and greet for the cast of Smallville. So it's gonna be Erica and Tom, but also uh, John Glover and John Schneider and Laura Vandervoort, who played uh, Kara. And so at 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, at it's called GalaxyCon. You can definitely check it out if you wanna see them speak. What time is Eastern time for me? Jeez. Well, I'll probably be watching that while I'm at work. <laughs> I just realized that it's not my, my time zone. But anyway, so yeah, definitely uh, check that out if you wanna see. I definitely gonna want, wanna see them interact. Um, and every something else I did at the Fan Expo is I got a wand, a Harry Potter wand. I have to show you guys, it's a Death Eater skull wand. It's just so epic. I really like it. It's like a metal rod in there too. So it's very sturdy and it looks cool. I'm gonna find a way to put it up in my living room. And something fun for my other viewers who watch Witcher is my boyfriend. He bought a like a miniature Witcher sword, it's like a real big ass dagger we're talking about here. Um, you can see here, it's got the, the wolf emblem there. And yeah, it's a, it's a real ass dagger. We're also gonna put that up. Really cool, I also got some Wolverine Logan tags that I'm wearing all the time now. And overall, one of the funnest experiences I've ever had and I'm glad I could share with you guys and keep it for myself or if I ever forget anything that happened. I decided not to get like selfies or photo ops with them just because I couldn't afford it at the time. Uh, it was pretty pricey for Tom, I'm being honest. Like Erica was more reasonable pricing. But yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> 
it was just my sister when she found out freaked out she even yelled she said when she saw because i had posted the autograph in my family chat and she's like no way i'm so jealous and i hope i get to meet them with her someday because it's just what smallville did for me superman is my favorite superhero i even watched like a cartoon video that i had so many times and then smallville came into my life and it was something my sister and i did after school, every single day, we'd watch one episode of Small and one episode of Charmed, sometimes, depending on how late it was, a bit more. So that's why those two are like my top two shows, because it's how I could hang out with my sister. We're so different that that's the one thing we had in common for such a long time. We were a bit more similar now as adults, but we were really such different kids. But we could kind of come together with uh, Smallville and Charmed and... That's why it means a lot to me as well. And, you know, it's not the most accurate portrayal of Superman, but they kind of set the grounds for any DC or superhero show from then on. They even talked about it in the panel. And honestly, I can't even watch the other DC shows anymore. I've watched like a couple seasons of Era. I watched, you know, a couple seasons of Legends Tomorrow. I've watched um, some Daredevil. I watched uh, Supergirl. But it's just, they kind of lose my interest uh, after season one or two. I think the first season's really strong and then it kind of like just drops, I don't know. And Smallville, like they managed to go on for 10 seasons. Yes, there were so many throwaway episodes, but I still enjoyed watching it. It was so easy to watch and I did get invested for s certain plot points, several plot points. I loved Zod, I loved, you know, um, seeing Lex turn bad, I loved seeing his relationship with Lois developed so slowly, but it was so worth the wait. And it just really is the best superhero show in my opinion. I've tried watching a lot and I can't make it through them anymore. I don't know if it's the writing or they're just trying to drag it out more than it needs to for certain plot points. I'm not sure what, what it is about it, but it just for me isn't as good. Maybe it's just the style of how it's done as well. That's quite different. And there just are more episodes of Smallville. It's like a 10 episode setup versus a 22, 20 episode season setup. And yeah, I'm really excited for this animated show they're working on and I can't wait for that. And yeah, that's that. That's my experience, guys. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.